Professional cyclists have a reasonable amount of time on their hands between stages, especially in a race like the Abu Dhabi Tour where they're in the same hotel every night. So what we want to find out is what they do to relax. What do you do to relax between stages and after races? Uh, trying to avoid listening to my roommate Seebeck and uh, yeah, listening to music. What's the, what's on the uh, playlist at the moment? Just uh, yeah, everything. I just put on a, a playlist, a random playlist, and then um, I'm listening. I'm always uh, open for new new uh, songs and. Uh, yeah. yeah. Leave your suggestions for Andre in the comment section just down below. Uh, normally I try to watch some movies or TV shows and uh, last year it worked pretty well. I, I watched, uh, in two weeks I watched 48 hours worth of um, TV shows so that was one seventh of my life. Uh, <laughs> not in, Obviously that's including sleeping and eating and writing as well so uh, it worked well at the start of the year so I'm going to just keep going with that. Music, magazines, uh, that's actually what I like to do. And, uh, I think today is plenty of time, two hours in the car again, transfer. Yeah. So. <laughs> and what's on your playlist right now? Oh, a big mix. Uh, really depends on my mood. Um, yeah, if I'm angry, I like to, to hear rock. If I'm, if I'm just calm, then yeah, whatever, whatever I feel like, really. How do you relax between stages? Are you kind of a box set or books kind of person? Uh, box set. Uh, I like to play video games. Big video game man. Uh, getting out of the house, just... Yeah, I think the usual things, just relaxing and uh, enjoying my free time when I can. What, what are the current box sets and video games? At the minute we're actually watching an old TV show, uh, That 70s Show, a bit oh, yeah. of a sitcom, I don't know, yeah, or whatever you call it. Yeah. Before really, my time. Yeah, <laughs> which I'm really enjoying at the minute. Um, that's a good question, I might be able to show you. I, um, I, I'm, I'm from the 80s, so I got myself... Best decade. Best decade. Nintendo Switch. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, I don't know if you know, because I'm not into games, but there is now on the Nintendo Switch Doom, classic from the 80s. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I'm um, back in the old days, you know. <laughs> I remember playing that at school. Um, we used to, uh, back in those days, we didn't have network, we had um, IR. So we used to link laptops in class with the um, I had to play multiplayer games. When the teacher would walk in, the game would freeze and then yeah. <laughs> you could um, frag the other guy. So um, yeah, I did a bit of that, a bit of work on my laptop. Yeah. A huge surprise to find out that Adam Hansen relaxes by using electronics. Relaxing between stages, I generally uh, just hanging out at the hotel. Uh, kind of varies throughout the year. Uh, right now I'm kind of into reading, so for whatever reason I've been reading a book for uh, past few days. Uh, other times the season goes on, uh, and as races get harder and harder, that turns to TV. What's the book at the moment? Uh, honestly, I don't even know what the name of it's called. Uh, big, really into a uh, kind of mystery thriller type of books. James Patterson, Dan Brown, uh, some of those type of type of books. Yeah, I like to read, but. Uh yeah, I reckon reading's the best way to pass the time. Like on a transfer like today, just reading, reading's the best. What's the current book? Actually, today I was just trying to catch what's going on in the world, reading The Economist. Yeah. <laughs> kind of boring, but uh, yeah, I've been checked out for a while, so it's, it's interesting to know what's going on. Now, uh, with uh, my small children, I spoke with them, I see with uh, Skype you know, or some, something else, and just talk with my wife and look at some news and okay. I think mostly we are on the computers, I think all the bunch. I have a computer or iPad or watching movies and yeah, laying in our bed. But yeah, not doing too much actually. So uh, you're riding your bike, eating and yeah, massage and relaxing. So uh, when I'm home it's way more busy, but in the race it's uh, kind of easy. I, I do watch a lot of music videos actually. Um, gone are the days in Canada where uh, and same with the states where you could watch music videos regularly. So I watch a lot on uh, Vimeo and uh, and YouTube, and then uh, yeah, listen to a lot of music. And finally, how do you relax between stages after races? Are you kind of a movie or a box set or a book kind of person? Um, yeah, definitely all of the above. Um, yeah, definitely try to read a little bit at night before going to bed. Put, puts me to sleep. But uh, yeah, listen to some music. Um, find a good series to binge out on. And um, 
yeah, mostly glued to our phones all the time. Yeah. What What was the current book? Um, <laughs> my wife was just giving me a hard time about this. I'm reading uh, John Grisham, The Pelican Brief, um, which is like a blast from the past. I remember watching the movie when I was young, um, but never read the book. And uh, yeah, I think most people at this stage in their life have read every Grisham book, but I'm a little behind. Still picking my way through them. And I should have asked you, what, what sort of music are you into? Um, you know, I like a lot of stuff. Uh, I do like quite a bit of kind of like hip, I do like a lot of hip hop, uh, uh, a bit of electronic stuff, a lot of like Daft Punk influenced music. Um, yeah, if you if you were to say one genre, it'd probably be something that falls under uh, uh, probably Gorillaz and uh, and uh, Daft Punk. So quite a variation when it comes to what riders do in their spare time between stages. And it's something which must have changed dramatically over the last decade or two. Uh, Pre-internet and pre-smartphone, the only options really were reading or indeed talking to each other, which is quite a novelty these days. Right, if you've enjoyed this video, please give us the thumbs up just down below. Or if you would like to see a different question posed to these cyclists, you can find out what their maximum speed on a bike is just down here.